to another edition of Tea Talk, a transsexual perspective on the world around us. Today's topic is on religion and God. To think about all of the many belief systems in the world is mind-boggling. And even within a religion, there are different tangents, i.e. the Christian religion. You have Methodist, Episcopalian, Baptist, Jehovah Witness, Catholic, etc., etc., etc. Thanks to my parents, I, I've always had an open mind when it comes to religion. My mother is Christian and my father was Hindu. Growing up, my sister and I participated in both religions. The overall message from our parents was that there is a God. How we connected with him wasn't a major issue. It wasn't a big deal. As an adult, I've taken time out to look at religions of the world, and honestly, I have not found one that I feel fully comfortable with. When I think about the miracle of our existence and how divinely orchestrated things are, it just is mind-boggling. It blows me away. I talk about this in my latest book, The Writings of a Demigod. It would be absurd for me to say that there wasn't a God. I mean, even the way our bodies function alone is miraculous. I guess I kind of created my own religion by unique way of connecting with God. I will say that Esther Hicks and Jerry Hicks, the teachings of Abraham on the law of attraction is phenomenal. And anyone that connects with that, I can guarantee, um, would be able to live their best life. Um, so I guess, you know, on a daily basis I try to connect with that. So maybe I do belong to a, a quote-unquote religion. <laughs> but the killing has to stop. The killing in the name of God has to stop. Just because someone doesn't do it the way you do it doesn't make them wrong. I mean, there's more than one road to Pasadena, isn't there? Yes, we'll call heaven Pasadena today. And probably I don't use the same soap as you do, but we both get clean. I think the key is to have some sort of faith, because when you have faith, you have hope. And in the world that we live in today, I think we all can use a little bit of hope. Maybe God wanted it to be this way. The diversity of our existence is the beauty of it. I mean, a one-flower garden would be pretty boring, right? <laughs> anyway, until next time, I wish you all love, peace, and blessings, and hugs and kisses.